Happy Halloween everyone! Today's video is how I attempted to make this DIY backpack of Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. A full list of materials I used will be listed in the description along with any links that I have available. If you see me using two different color fabrics during the video, just ignore it. I couldn't decide what to use but ended up on green. Let's start off with the pattern. I will have all of the pattern pieces and their sizes listed in the description. First, I drew out the actual bag parts. First with the bottom of the bag, you can choose whatever size you want for these and adjust it as you want, but I decided on 12 by seven for the bottom of the bag. Fold this piece in half and then in half again so you can cut round corners. Make sure you are cutting on the open edges. We aren't making a snowflake. I'm sure there's a better, more mathematical way to do this, but to get the measurement for the side walls of the bag, I literally just used a measuring tape all around the edge to get a measurement, add some seam allowance, divide that measurement in half, and then you will have the length of one wall. You'll end up cutting out four of these when we get to fabric cutting, make sure you check the description. My walls came out to 12.5 by 18.5 inches with seam allowance. Extra seam allowance, it was kind of too much, I could have just done the normal 12 by 18. This is me trying to show what the heck is going on. Anywho. Next, I made the patterns for the straps. They are 4.5 inches wide so that they can be folded in half when sewn, but ignore how long they are because you will double check this for yourself later on and make adjustments. Just make them way longer than you need. To start out, I did 34 inches. That's way longer than I needed, but it was just to be, be sure. For the bag handle, I just used the tape measure to see what felt right in my hand, and then I drew the pattern so that it could be folded and sewn. I decided on 7.5 by 2.5 inches. This is confusing, but I made a test bag so that I could measure the opening and make sure the pattern for the closure, the little flap piece, and Oogie's face, or just the flap piece if you're just making a plain bag and not Oogie. After a bit of trial and error, I drew his face on a seven by nine box, cut him out, and then cut out his eyes and mouth, and boom, Oogie's face. Now the little flap or the piece that holds his head has to fit behind his head. I drew a six inch wide strap. This will be folded in half when sewn and I left it a little bit longer than 10 inches so I could adjust it later. So about a six by 10 piece of fabric for the pattern or pattern piece, six by 10 pattern piece. I can speak, I promise. Now that we have the pattern drawn out, we can begin cutting out the fabric and putting it together. Cut out the four wall or side pieces. You will be making an inside lining and an outer bag. Sew down the side seams for each of the bags. This is the shorter sides, the 12.5 inch sides. You should now have two tubes of fabric. Pick one for the outer layer, turn it right side out, and measure equal distance apart as many small eyelets as you want for Oogie's stitches. Not sure where I got this tool, but I got my eyelets from Hobby Lobby. I didn't have any kind of hole punch, so I just folded and pinched the fabric together to snip off little bits at a time to make holes. On the brown fabric, I put some too close to the edge. Don't do that. But once you've got all of them done, you can crisscross, lace up the stitches, I used this black thread twine stuff, not sure what it is, but tie off the strings on the inside of the bag. Next, mark off the midpoints of both the length and the width of the bottom of the bags and then do the same thing on the, the bag sides mark the midpoints and then obviously the other midpoints are the seams. 
You just have to inside out fold them in half the other way with the seams together so that you can get the middle of the sides. Once you have those all marked, pin those matching points together and then pin the rest of the edges and sew the bottom to the bags. Make sure you are sewing with right sides together if you have a right side of your fabric and make sure you are putting the side seam matching up with the shorter side of the bottom of the bag. Oh look, they're brown again. Once you have both of those sewn together, you can return the outer layer bag, the one with the stitches on them, back to right side out and stick the inner liner inside, leaving that one inside out so that the, in, the, uh, the seams go together. Does that make sense? It's just so that the inside looks all pretty, no seams. Now cut out the head flap piece, fold it in half and sew down the seam. At this point, I only made it about eight inches long, but don't worry about that. You're gonna end up trimming it later if you need to. Do not fold it right side out yet, but fold it in half so that the seam is down the middle and sew down one opening, and then turn it right sides out, and then do a top stitch all the way around the three edges except for the open edge. I, for some reason, lost footage of this, but this is what it looks like when it's done. Now we're moving on to Oogie's face. You can skip this if you're not gonna put a face, you're just making a regular backpack. But I traced out the face onto the fabric twice with added seam allowance, and then I made one other piece without seam allowance. This is just gonna be an inside piece that adds structure to his face so it, it'll hold itself up while it's on the bag. If your fabric is super stiff, you probably don't need this. And then I traced out his mouth and eyes onto a black felt. I would recommend getting something other than felt because this kind of left little fuzzies on my green fabric, but it's not that big of a deal to me. Coming up, there's gonna be a little bit of spots where I messed up, but sew on his mouth and eyes to the piece you want to be the front piece of his face. At this point, you should be attaching that head flap piece to the back of his head, but I didn't do that. I'm just showing what it would look like here. Layer the three pieces together inside out. So you're gonna put on top of his face, the inner lining, and then on the back, you're going to put right side facing in, hit the back of his head. Sew these pieces together, leaving a small opening so that you can turn it right side out, but also big enough of an opening so that you can sew on that head flap piece if you're like me and didn't do it in the first place. Before any top stitching and closing the opening, sew a little magnet button snap or whatever type of closure you would like to use and then top stitch all the way around Oogie's head, closing up that opening. Next, we're gonna attach the other half of that closure to the outer layer of the bag itself. Now for the drawstring part, which is another mistake. I should have attached the straps first to just the outer layer, but I forgot, so they're sewn through both layers, which you'll see later. I found this eyelet tool on Amazon. I would also recommend getting a block and a mallet to use. I tried with literal dumbbells until finally going into my garage with a hammer, and um, I kind of ruined the tool because I did it on concrete, but add eyelets evenly around the bag opening. Make sure they are placed even on either side and not one in the middle. This way, when you tie the drawstring, the bow will be in the middle. To use the tool, punch a hole with the tool going through both the inner layer and the outer layer. I had no issues with the tool not going through both, but I, I did, as I said, make the mistake of doing this on concrete, so it got really dull after this. Oopsie. You can see here I ended up using three on each side of the front and then six again on the back. Again, make sure you go through both layers of the bag. We're almost done, I promise. Sew the handle in half, 
turn it right side out and then top stitch just like everything else. I actually forgot to show that. I didn't top stitch it until later, but trust me, I did it. Same thing for the handles, just like the little head flap piece. Fold it in half, sew down the seam, fold it in half the other way so the seam is in the middle, and then stitch the, the bottom, turn it right side out, and then do a top stitch all the way around the edges. At this point, you can adjust the straps. I didn't actually measure them all the way. I just kind of held them against another backpack I had and then cut them to that length and with some seam allowance and they were comfortable for me. At this point, I attached the bottom of the straps to the bottom corners of the bag. This should have been done before adding the eyelets, but I'm a noob, so here we are. Now that both straps are attached to the bottom of the bag, from the inside, it's time to do the last step, which is to top stitch the entire bag opening. And I don't know how to show this whole thing. So here's the opening of the bag. <laughs> and pin, actually I have to move these over, so. <sighs> So I've pinned in the closure and then make sure the strap is going around it. Pin in the straps. And then last, make sure that they're both going the right direction. Straps. And before you do any of the top stitching, put it on, make sure your straps are long enough, cut them shorter if you need to, but then just fold down the seams on both sides and top stitch all the way around the opening of the bag like so I was gonna use the same twine that's on the side, but I, I couldn't decide if I wanted just one layer of it and I felt like it would probably wear down after a while. So I have this, ooh, which is like some kind of fake leather cord stuff. And that's what I'm gonna use. The only thing I don't know what I should do with is the ends of it. They're probably not gonna hold up. I'm gonna, I could try to knot them or like, glue beads to the end or something, but this this is what I'm gonna use. Let me know um, if you have an idea of what I should do to keep them from fraying, but that's it. Totally forgot to mention that I bought this thing on eBay I will link it down below. I don't remember how much it was, but it was super cheap. You could probably just make one really easy. It just feels like it's made out of that stiff felt stuff. But it's just a purse insert. It's a little too small for the bag I made, but it's just gonna keep all my stuff, like you can just have it like a regular old rucksack, but I wanted it to kind of be organized when I put all my, my stuff in it. So yeah. And voila, it is done. Beautiful Oogie bag, I'm very proud of myself. I made a lot of mistakes, but I did it. I finished it. It took me a few months working on it, on and off, and it wouldn't have taken as long if I wasn't doing it by hand, but I just felt like doing it by hand made it, you know, look more like him, give it a little more character, whatever. Make sure you check the description below for links to the costume of Oogie that I did in 2018. If you want to see that, you can see that here in this video. And hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!